music into Agrishna. And the idea of this project is the kids in the class form groups. They could be one, two, ten, whatever they like. Because this project is autonomous. The students do it autonomously. The teachers are only facilitators. Because we want to keep the kids ownership of their music and their own social, because music is social, it's theirs. Okay? The less we interfere in the process, the better. So they choose a song. Now, I don't know Turkish pop songs very well, I'm sorry. Um, so, Turkan is the best. Uh, <laughs> or Lady Gaga, or rap, or heavy metal, whatever they choose. They choose. They strip away the lyrics, the song, the, the words of the song. They choose a theme, and they write their own song. If they're Turkish kids, they'll do it in Turkish. Okay? That's an interesting exercise in literacy and writing, you're making it fit. But then, once they've written their song in Turkish, they translate that into their target language. Mm. So if they're learning English, they'll have to translate it into English. And that raises all sorts of interesting problems, because it's a, lie, it's a real exercise, it's an authentic use of language here, and getting it to fit into the song. Then it gets really exciting, because we ask the kids to sing it, record it, video it, both versions, and put it up on the net. Okay? So they're up there singing. If they've got instruments, they can play. That would be great if they can play. There's nice examples of that. And uh, put it up on the net. Then a school in France or Spain comes in, sees your student's version of the song, say, that's really nice, we like that one. And they take the song, they translate the Turkish English lyrics into German, make it fit, sing it, play it, record it, video it, and stick it up on the net. So they're all collaborating and interacting across the whole of Europe with pop songs for their, their music. So we know this is a huge motivational tool. It's not about learning that language so much, it's about motivating, it's about bringing something authentic that's in their lives into our teaching. So that's the idea of this project. I've never got nothing like that. Oh yes, we must. Okay? And there's, there's, there's no limit to this. You know, they could carry on doing songs and bring them up and sharing and taking somebody else's and commenting on other people's every direction. Okay? Do you like the idea? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just have a question. Because yes. recently I had my kids um, take a song. Um, it was a Beyonce song, and um, we were learning paraphrasing, how to paraphrase, so I had them paraphrasing the lyrics. And then they had to perform it, they couldn't do it with their own words because of the music with the lyrics, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they had to read it, so it kind of took away the whole musical element. I think, you know, we, at this project, we're actually only about three, four months into the project, and we're still building all the guides and how we're going to do this, and we're still ex we don't know until we get to the piloting if it's going to work. Mm -hmm. We do know, we have seen other instances where this sort of thing has worked on sort of a smaller scale. So what we do in these projects is we, we sort of take our ideas, we make all the teacher guides and all, everything that's required to give the support and the help and all the rest of it. And then we pilot it, and pilot it in a few schools to see where we got it right and see where we got it wrong. Now at this stage we don't know. And there will be problems, and we will have to adapt. But in fact, the team in this project is an incredible team, so we'll do it. We will do it. Because I think, yeah.